What's going on guys? We got a nice beautiful lake view. Today we are in southern Maine. I'm not going to disclose exactly where. We're doing some more bando hunting. My friend is running behind uh, and so we've got a bigger group today but um, yeah uh, at some point soon here we're gonna get going and when we do we're hopefully gonna find some good stuff. I've got some more scouted spots down here and uh, yeah we'll see what we could in get into. So we're not on a bando yet. We were just walking out in the woods, waiting on people, and we found this beaver chew on this birch. Pretty cool. So you know there's beavers in here somewhere. Where? We don't know. Maybe we'll see one. Maybe we'll get to talk to it. Probably not, but stuff you find out in the main woods. So we found a few bandos, but most of them look kind of sketchy. We've still got a few more spots, but this was just a place that I found that I thought might have a bando. Turns out it does not, but we will uh, keep looking at other spots. And meanwhile, this is just an incredible view. You can see Mount Washington over there, a nice little pond down there. And this is just a weird little cleared area with some rocks. But uh, yeah, we'll keep looking. So, do you see it down there? It's a bando. We are on this snowmobile trail. We've left the car at the main trail, but there is a other little trail. I saw a ICS sign that goes through here. And this looks like an abandoned farm. And you can see from the uh, rock walls here. So we made it into what appears to be a chicken coop. Wire on the fence. This thing's pretty cool. Yep, got the coops out here. And there's the barn. More collapsed chicken coop. Look at that. It's a little bit unstable. We'll see if we can get up in there. We've got more collapsed chicken coop. Look at that. Already plants growing in there. Used to be all the way up to the hill. Beautiful countryside. I see a way in. Uh, I'm going to poke around to the front first. Made it into the barn. Still a well preserved tractor. You sure? Yeah, like a nice tractor. Is that a lawnmower? Sure. Wait, there's stuff up there? No. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Made it upstairs up a sketchy ass ladder. I don't know what this side This might be a grain silo. That floor, I don't like putting weight on that. <laughs> yeah. This is a tractor. Very well preserved. They got a mower here too. Oh yeah, but it's perfect. Does that thing lift up? I think it used to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Look at this thing. This is pretty friggin' cool. Yeah, I found our tick on me. Oh, uh, yeah. That'll happen. Fucking four-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. Eddie Nash in Colebrook, New Hampshire. That's up north. God damn. This thing's pretty sweet. It's on my back, too, so... Oh, jeez. Okay. What could I normally feel by the time... bottom of the barn. We're not going to go into that. That does not look stable. This shit is old. This shit is very old. I don't know. 
Alright, we're gonna go catch up with the rest of the group and we'll see you in a minute. Kind of a house, but it's sketchy. We don't want to go in it. But there's something dug into the hill. Yo, that's sick. Might be another like barn type structure. It's mostly collapsed, but. Oh, there's a porcupine. I want to see the fucking porcupine. Yo. Where is he? No, they don't shoot them. No, that's that's a myth. They don't shoot them. They're chill. You just need to not touch them. Just don't fuck with them. Where's the? Oh, so this is a collapsed barn of some sort. So now let's go see this fucking porcupine. They don't move too fast, so it's like you can catch up to them. You just make sure that he doesn't like touch you. It's, it's you know, but they're chill. That's that's why they have those things is because they're chill, and so they can be chill with that. They are just like, don't come near me. And they're fine. You guys see it? <laughs> come on, Porky. Did he go into a hole? What happened? Probably. Uh, He's probably freaking the hell out. Yeah. So, after much searching, we finally got a little bando. It's just a little shed, but it's something. Not too much shit, that's a good sign. Damn. Oh. Empty. Just an empty little shed. Ooh, what's this? I don't even know what that is, but it's like a stick hammock. Maybe it's something you'd put in a canoe. It's a seat. Who knows? This is a bird's nest. Let me get in there. Huh? See where the birds get in. You get a little hole. Okay, so we are in Baltimore, actually. I just needed to do a quick outro for this video. I'm traveling for work. This is Jess. You saw her in the first Aroostook uh, video. And uh, yeah, now we were both in the area. So just met up here in, it's my first time in Baltimore. I've uh, never been here. We're out here by the waterfront, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We found some cool stuff. We found some, uh, you know, found a, found a nice little barn, found a nice little shed, and then some other, you know, interesting things along the way. So, uh, yeah, this one wasn't quite as exciting as the Aroostook stuff, but the second Aroostook big trip has already happened. So, in two weeks, only two short weeks, I will have that video uploaded. It's a good and, one. Oh, it's a, a good it's a really good one. We, 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 really, we really found some good stuff. So you'll just have to you'll just have to see it in uh, a few short weeks. But for now, this will uh, hold you over. Reporting from Baltimore. This is wilderness. Like and subscribe and all that jazz.